says, my husband's mistress has called our home again. I found out, not by my husband telling me, but by a message left on her answering machine. He then told me she called and why. It was like a knife in my chest. I exploded. I really did. He did apologize and he felt bad. He said it would never happen again. She wants to know um, if we have any suggestions for her. She, she, wants, she feels like calling her up and giving her her mind, but doesn't want to give her any more power than she has been given. I want to act with dignity and respect for myself. Any suggestions would be great. Thank you. Well, you know that last part where she says she doesn't want to give her any more power? That's, that's excellent right there, because that's what she would be doing. And who knows where that woman could take things. Mm -hmm. And it might affect you because you're very emotional at that it point. So the best thing would be to have no contact. And just, uh, you know, discontinue any way that she can make contact. Uh, that might include having to disconnect your number and uh, get a new number that's unlisted. If your husband's truly repentant, then uh, he won't uh, object to that. And uh, if she gets a hold of the number and it's unlisted, then you'll know that something's going on yeah, after right. he said he was repentant. Mm -hmm. So I would... Uh, you know, just you. It looks like you, you're you're forgiving him. That's good. Uh, and now it looks like you're um, at the point where you're established. Need to establish some boundaries, and that would be clearly a, a very good boundary to be able to disconnect uh, the communication, so that this adulterous woman that's uh, destroying her marriage and someone else's marriage has no no way to make contact. He, um, he needs to have some accountability to his wife. So, um, and that, that will begin the healing process um, for the marriage, for you, for you, for the woman that wrote in. And for him, he needs to know by his accountability that it wasn't, he's not going to be able, it's not going to be acceptable for him, for him to do that. And he should not have any objection to having more accountability than he had before. It's understandable and it's reasonable. Okay, well you did talk about accountability and I think of good accountability one time you had mentioned, we had talked about it in, in a previous marriage video, um, to uh, exchange cell phones once in a while. I think that's a really good idea. Uh, oh accountability yeah. Purposes. Oh, exchange cell phones? Yeah. 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 That okay. would work. Any, anything uh, that you can think of that would create a, a, an environment where a person's it, look, you know, you're married, and so you know it's not unreasonable for your spouse to have to know where you're at, what you're doing, to be reachable, That's and right. for her to be able to pop in on you at any moment, and for her to check. Uh, what you're doing. That's, to what, be able marriage, to check what, that's you're doing. what marriage is about, especially a godly marriage. Husbands and wives are accountable to each other. Well, it, you, you know, you, you're not you, by yourself anymore. You're, you know, you're two people. You've become one, and there shouldn't be, there shouldn't be any barrier to complete transparency. That's the word of the, of this decade. Complete transparency. People in business, uh, institutions, they all understand government, they understand transparency. But somehow in marriage, uh, you know, people, people think that uh, that that's, doesn't apply, but it actually, actually it very much does apply. So, so yeah, transparency. So transparency, being able to verify, that's what, what that means. Being able to verify and confirm. Uh, we call it accountability. That sounds great. Thank you. Yeah. So, You're right. She's got the right attitude. And uh, so thanks for writing in. And I uh, hope that helps.